Okay, so first of all, click somewhere inside the data and then go to insert and insert a pivot table. And I will put this in the existing worksheet just here and OK. Then click and drag the date into the rows field and CO2 into the values field. Then right click and go to value field settings and select count and OK. And I am doing this because I want to check that the count is always one as I don't want to actually use the pivot table to combine my data, I just want to use it to plot the data. And you can also check that the pivot table is the same length as the original data set. Then once we're happy with that, go back to the value field settings and change it to average and OK. And as we are averaging just one number each time, we get back to our original values. Then make sure that you have somewhere inside the pivot table selected and go to insert and insert a 2D line chart. And then I'll move this to the side and resize this and then go to Pivot Chart Analyze and remove the field buttons. And then I'll just do some quick formatting to this. And then select the chart and go to Pivot Chart Analyze and insert a timeline. And then select the date and OK. And now we have a timeline. And if I click on just one month here, the chart will change to show me just that month's worth of data. And what it is actually doing is the timeline is filtering the pivot table, which is then feeding through into the chart. And I can click and drag to select multiple months. And we can also change the time level here. So I can change this to years and then select all of 2020. And then you can also select quarters and days. So I'll scroll along and select the 17th of July here and it will show me just that day. And I can also click and drag to show multiple days. Now we'll do some formatting to this. So I'll move the plot area up and put the timeline in here underneath and change the length of it so it lines up with the chart. Then go to the timeline tab at the top and remove the header and then drag this back down so we still have the scroll bar. Then we can also change the styles so I'll select a dark blue style and then right click and duplicate. And then we can create our own custom style. So I'll change the name of this to new style and then select the whole timeline and format. And then remove the border and change the fill to no color and OK and OK again. And it doesn't automatically change the timeline as we still have the dark blue style selected we need to select the custom style that we just made. And this shows us the axes underneath, so I will just delete that and then move the plot area back again. And now the timeline looks a little bit more like it's part of the chart. And I'll change this to months and then select October and click and drag to select multiple months. And you can use a timeline to control multiple charts and pivot tables. Just right click on the timeline and go to report connections. And if you have multiple different pivot tables, you can select them. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use a pivot table timeline to change a chart in Excel. And that is everything.